In Photoshop, you can run various tasks using actions as well as scripting, and also you can use droplets. Now, droplet is basically an action, but the action is in the form of an executable that sits outside of Photoshop. So you can actually, it's got a selection of files here, PNG files. Now I'm just going to create a droplet here. It's just going to be an executable that uh, then I can drag these files onto that and it will run a, a certain task, a very uh, basic task of uh, a glass distortion that I created earlier. It's just an action. But right, I'm just going to go, the one problem with that, I'm just going to go start and then Photoshop CS5. Now, if I run Photoshop CS5 now, and I'm just running it as a standard user account, so I've got no privileges, I'm not an administrator, it will fail. The executable will come up with an error. So if I create an executable here, it will actually just say, Droplet cannot communicate with Photoshop, which is rather annoying. But there is a solution around that. The way around that is via run as administrator at start. So you just go there, run as administrator, and it'll come up past my, if I remember that, just about. I don't typed it a few million times, but uh, every time it comes up, I think, oh no. Right, file. Right, just gonna go, now I've created an action already. Just, it was a very basic one, like I said, it's a glass distortion. It's just gonna be glass, cut some blur, blah, blah, blah black and white levels. And now I'm just going to create droplet. So file, automate, and create droplet. Just there, create droplet. Now it comes up with basically the same sort of thing as the batch menu. And I'm just gonna, actually, you know, so I've just created one earlier, but uh, this glass distortion. So I'll just select that one, the action. Always remember to do that, otherwise it will take the one that, when the other one's in the list and also save and close and choose. Now I'm just gonna locate, place it in the same location as the PNG files. Don't have to do that, but uh, that's uh, one of the things that uh, I'm just gonna do. Save and now, okay. Now I'm just going to close that and you'll see an executable I've just created. Now, if I go select a couple of files, drag them to the executable, just basically just drag them straight across and wait a few minutes or seconds as Photoshop quickly fires up again. And it will run through the That's it. Very uneventful. Now, if I actually go to those files, which is going to be the best way, open, just quickly open them again, and then you actually can see the files. They've actually had this glass distortion effect applied in Photoshop. Okay, execute, close that again. That's it. So, quick use of the Photoshop droplet.